Thank you, coronavirus, for closing my kids' school for three weeks. Actually, it's from now. Today, I believe, is the 15th of March, and it's closed until April 20th. And what does that mean for me and Countryside Lawn? Today's the first day of starting stick cleanups and then going into mulch and fixing a little bit of plow damage. And guess what that means for me? That means Billy has no school until April That's 20th. Safe. You're driving with the camera in your hand. Well, then you hold the camera. You're putting you're putting people in danger. I'm putting you in danger. You are. And th that's all right. When that car was coming at us, that's not even facing at anybody. I know. And well, every time you hit the me. window, it distorts the microphone. Oh, it does. Okay, well, you know what? Don't bully me, okay? I'm not bullying you, but in my defense, if that car would have hit us, it was only on your side anyway. So. I was literally just about to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, you say that all the time. We come close to being hit by someone. Like that other day, when we were going to the gym, and we passed Mount St. Mary's and that guy pulled out and you slammed on the brakes and had to turn over to one side. Oh, the one right. that pulled out in front of us? Yeah, and I said, oh, we almost got hit and you said, oh, it would have been fine. It was on your side. <laughs> That's me and Uncle Ryan say to each other all the time. That's where yeah. I got it from. Actually, Uncle Ryan's the one that started. But, all right, so anyway, we're going to our first stick cleanup of the year. Billy and I are gonna rock it out today. We got the old dually, the old black so beauty here. and. We're gonna make it happen. I think it's supposed to be like 45 degrees today, but they've said 45 the last three days and it was like 50, 52 every day. So either 52. way, the sun is shining. So we're gonna make stuff happen. I've been flying from town to town, from London to Taiwan. I've been all around the globe trying to protect your soul. It's kind of cold out here this morning. So that's the sticks we picked up out of this yard. Really wasn't much in the front or in the front over that way. You guys have seen me mow this a million times. But this backyard here, because of all these trees, there's a lot of dead stuff in these trees. They need trimmed up and all the dead stuff cut out. But there was a, a bunch back here. What you just saw in the truck is what we stomped down a few times and got a nice little system Billy uses the grabbers we both use the grabbers so we don't have to bend down and pick them up all day but he dump he picks them up and puts fills up the garbage can and I haul around that green bag type deal tarp bag and every time his can fills up he stomps it down fills it up again then he dumps it into the bag and then we just heave the bag up into the truck but it definitely is kind of cold out here what do you think, Billy? Are you cold? Billy's a little cold. So we're on to the next one. I will. I'll film some today of us doing that, but picking up sticks is kind of boring. I'll try to. Uh, I'll film some, and then in editing, I'll try to make it a little entertaining. But off to the next one. It's on now. Whatever, bud. Get to work. Okay, so you guys have seen this a million times. I've filmed mowing it. I've filmed doing leaves here. Ooh. Dang it, Billy. Get out of the way. Alrighty, so, I mean, the sticks really aren't that bad. Usually every spring when I come here, this tree was standing up right before. That sucker's coming down. But anyway, um, usually every year in the spring, it's horrible because we do all the leaves and it leaves a bunch of sticks behind and we try to do the best we can. But using that Ferris last year, it literally took most of the sticks with it. So they, uh, they just kept blowing right to the woods. You know, we blow all the leaves and everything right to the woods. It's what we do with the sticks too. And then over the cliff way there in the back. But, uh, that's what, uh, 
that's what that blower did last year. It just uh, it cleaned most of the sticks with it, so shouldn't be too bad. But there still are quite a bit here. Are you dancing over there? What are you doing? Oh boy, I gotta call the school. We gotta get over this coronavirus bull crap so that you can go back to school. Wait, Dad. <laughs> Only the real OGs would remember that. <laughs> That's that, right. That was an old Instagram post. That was old. Billy says only the real OGs remember that. Anyway, we're going to get cleaning this up and uh, we'll see what we can get done here. Scottish Olympics? That would probably be drinking games. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're not wrong. Let's go. Uh, you know how they do like the giant log throwing? Oh, the log stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah! Score 10. I got it stuck in the tree. I had a friend years ago that was Irish and he used to tell me that the difference between an Irish wedding and an Irish funeral was one last drunk. <laughs> I used to tell him like, dude, you're Irish. He's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> one of the coolest guys I ever met. Wizard Harry, Dad, look, oh, look, you're a wizard, Harry. You know what that's from? No. Y you don't know what that's from? You are a wizard, Harry. Come on, my guy. I'm gonna guess Harry Potter. I've never watched any of them. I'm so proud of you. I don't even watch Harry Potter, and I know that. You are Harry Potter. I'm not Harry Potter. Okay, when I put on Grandma's glasses, I look like Harry Potter. Okay. I look like a kind of cool Harry Potter. All right, where are we gonna put this? I'm just gonna throw this in here at the end because I'm sure everybody will ask me. What's my opinion on this coronavirus? Listen, facts are, if you go to CDC's website, I know I share a lot of memes that are funny and stuff like that and put a lot of stuff on social media. But the fact of the matter is, if you go to CDC's website, if you listen to the Harvard medical professors, if you listen to all the actual real data out there everywhere on TV, the interviews, you will see that they all claim there's nothing to be concerned about, there's nothing to be overly worried about, and they say that the flu has 10 times the lethal rate that coronavirus could ever dream of having. So do I think it's ridiculous? Yeah, absolutely. Do I think you need to take precautions around uh, people that are older or cancer patients, for example, anybody with a weak immune system? Yeah, absolutely. But other than that, it's the media that is taking it to the level that it's at. They're blowing everything way out of proportion. They are making everybody freak out. There's elderly people or even people that aren't elderly that can't afford to stock up and buy mass amounts. And they have to go week to week. And these idiots that are buying up everything in all the stores are making it hard or impossible for other people to get the bare necessities that they need. So do I think this is a bunch of bullshit? Absolutely. And do I think that this is just a big ploy for the media to blow this way up and make everything bigger than what it is? Yeah. You know what? 
they just announced in my state here in New York that as of eight o'clock tonight, all restaurants, bars, etc., are all going to be closed. They closed my gym today. And as of eight o'clock tonight, my gym is closed until further notice. My kid's school is closed for over a month now. It's just ridiculous. These precautions that everybody is taking and these extreme measures everyone's taking, why weren't they ever taken with the flu and the different strands of that that's come out since it's 10 times more lethal than this is? I don't know. Everybody has their own opinion. Everyone thinks it is what it is. As far as affecting business, do I think it'll affect my business? No. People are still going to need their grass cut. You're still going to have, they're still going to want this work done, these other things done. They're going to take precautions like anybody else and, and do what's recommended and people are going to follow certain, certain things along those guidelines. But a lot of people are saying it's going to affect business. It's going to drive this down, drive prices down. People aren't going to want the work. You might see that a, a slight bit here or there. But ever since this virus scare has come out, I've already picked up four new customers. And all of my customers are still on board. I've had a handful of them call me just to make sure that everything is still on schedule and good to go, that I'm not changing anything. It's not affecting anything here. Maybe in your area, but it's not here, and I'm not worried about it in the least bit. That's my that's my bit on it. Whether you agree or not, that's my opinion in case anybody wanted to ask. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Uh, we got lots of work lined up for the rest of the week for Billy and I, and Ryan did get his new mower today, so we'll eventually be showing that. Thanks, guys. See you in the next one.